All right, in our last session, we added an article. In this session, we're going to add a quick About Us page or About This Website page. So let's add content. And let's just talk quickly about the differences between a basic page and an article. Both the article and the basic page give us the option for a title and a body and a way to edit a summary. For an article, that's really important, where you might want to have a teaser, where listing the entire article wouldn't necessarily be a good idea, like on a news blog, uh, like the article we just created earlier. In a basic page, there's no easy way to add an image. Comments are closed by default. And the articles are published automatically, but not promoted to the home page automatically. All right, so about our site. And we could, of course, add a whole lot more in there. Now, in this case, we need to have a menu link. Otherwise, nobody will ever find this content. It's not published to the home page, and it's going to be pretty hidden. So let's go ahead and click and provide a menu link. We'll call this About Our Site. We could put a quick description in there, information about our new website. It's a main item and weight is zero. And the weight, all, and all the weight means is, is what order is this going to appear in? And we'll look at that as we start to add more content later on. Where do I want this menu to appear? Is it a parent item or is it a submenu? Let's leave it as a parent. Let's leave it on the main menu for now. And weight, smaller weights displayed before, before links with larger weights. So think golf. A lower score is better than a higher score. With a weight of 1, then, this will appear after my home menu. Click Save. And now I have a new page called About Our Site. Because I'm logged in as the editor, of course, I can edit it if I want. But if I hadn't added the menu, there'd be no way to get to this page. So it's always important to remember to make sure people can get to the content that you're building. And that's really it with adding a page. It's pretty basic, borders on useless. However, it does have its place. What you'll see next as we start to add new content types is the real flexibility of Drupal.